Post it up with Nick Osborne now. He tries to go up over Werner. Unsuccessful with the second. Uh, credit to them. He's been a big part of the foundation for future success for the Jaguars. They lose Bar Barksdale. They lose Archie. But the lion's share of this team. That average is wow. making over 10 threes a game. You see, the, the problem is... Yeah, and it's 11 great. from three-point range. There's trouble. Casper Bauer can't make him pay. Barksdale has a run out. Archie, got it. Yeah, this is back to a tie ball game at 40 all. Ever since then, South Dakota has led the rest of the way. Barksdale the rebound this time, but it was a one-minute possession for South Dakota. O'Leary tried to find Barksdale. Somehow it got to Combs. Archie lets fire. And finally another player. Hey. Omaha to one and done on these possessions as they are struggling from the floor in the early going. Omaha 3 of 11 from the field here in the first five and a half minutes. Yeah, but you just get the sense they're in pace. They're in kind of rhythm. You know, double team on the ball screen there. Leads to an open three for Mason. Archie that rattles in. So we talk about which is 18. And he's had, like that, he's had good looks. Well, offense from an unexpected source for IUPUI. Archie's kind of in that same boat, too. He's already had his average on a per he's game. Got on his own, got to take a little more responsibility and be a little more assertive and aggressive. Patterson now two for six for the night. You don't want to let these guys get going, Greg. That's one of the big keys. The Omaha team is a prolific offensive team, and when they get in rhythm and get confident, they're very, very difficult to play. Archie with time and buries the three. Yeah, don't get greedy now. Just you know, take some time, get a good possession. With how quickly this Omaha team can score, this game is far from over. Like the curl. Love the curl with him. See? And Archie the finish. It's a great move because he... Fort Wayne and Omaha. Two big wins for South Dakota State here. O'Leary missed, but Mason on the attack that time. He said the foul was on Moffitt before Barksdale got to the rim. Combs to Archie and Mason Archie on the other. Pick it right in front of head coach Joe Scott. They'll dish inside to Osborne. Good strong take, but he misses with the right hand. Archie comes in on the follow. Good and splits defenders. Left hand, no. Tap, yes. Per game score for IUPUI at 16 a game. Western turns it over again. Mason Archie one on none to the rim. The finish ball because you're going to vacate the basket you better come up with the basketball good cut to the basket by Archie give it to him Mason Archie Anderson got a piece fight for the loose ball saves it Mason Archie able to track it down and Archie will scoop it up and in and TJ 16 for the freshman but you could tell he was going to he was going to uh, screen step out all set ready to go Man. The really good teams find ways to answer. Archie does that for IUPUI. Pick it for three. That one's going to be wide right, but it goes right to Barksdale. Finds Archie and scores. <laughs> There's Anderson. Deep three. Osborne keeps it alive at a fresh 30 for the Jaguars. And that could be a theme. Long shots equal long rebounds, so there could be some boards around 15 feet. Archie buries the three. That was also a point of emphasis. We're seeing whistles not just protecting the offensive players, but that the defensive players have a right to the area in which they're standing. The guard that's paying attention can pick that off. Wilson trying to pick the pocket there. It's a three-point lead. He's starting to get a feeling. You know, Oral Roberts getting a little more comfort level going against that zone. The Jacks, they've thrown a lot of different defensive looks at Oral Roberts in this game. Expect that to continue. Archie for three. Rebounds for a reason. He's got six boards today. He averages just shy of eight a game. 
He's an energy guy. And Archie answers with an one opportunity. And Covington stumbles. Now Archie races to the other end. And Archie grabbed. It does not matter. And and one. Six to go. Denver's going to press. Rucker and Angus are pressing on Neji. He's going to bring the basketball up. Pass left side to Archie. He's open, and that's good for Archie. Communicating to stop ball or go to the ball and slow down the penetration. The reigning Summit League player of the week with both baskets for IPF Double Do, and we're tied at four. Archie for three. And he is. Gonna give Forbes a breather. Let him kind of collect his thoughts for a second. Archie hits the three, and it's been you know that was a tough because somebody had I mean Justice Stainback had a, I think a hand on the ball. Archie the catch and shoot Great three. pass, second chance opportunity again. That may have been the one. Unfortunately for IUPUI, this game is mirroring the last evening game they played in this facility. That being the opener against Indiana State. Archie with the bucket. Mason Archie in for IUPUI, Josh James in for IUPUI. Jake Pemberton now in for Denver. He wears number five for the Pioneer. Well, again, with Archie, you've got another guy who can shoot the ball from three and can go to the rim as she just showed you there. Mason Archie. He's got nine. And a quick fire three is good. From Boyanoff on thought he might have left it short. Averaging five and a half points a game is Boyanoff. Archie to the rim, left handed score. Oh, Back to the basket. And now you let the uh, post guy get it, but now you try, you're just going to stay with it. And if you get a chance to run and jump, as they do right here, they're going to take advantage of it. Paul Jackson on the floor now for the first time for Eastern Kentucky. Mason Archie, he can be a... Good work by Williams, tipping that ball away from Eric Stutz. Well, they've weathered the storm by ramping it up defensively and getting out in transition and going to the rim. Archie, the left hand for today's game for a violation of team rules. So a little bit of a change at the point guard spot as Ball State turns it over on their opening possession of the game. Mason Archie in rhythm. He's for Marksdale, becomes the... Ninth different player to score. Archie the steal and the flush. Now the quarter all the way down. A high arcing layup missed. And Brennan there to pull down the board. Now Najee quickly back the other way. Just inside the arc. A shot. Really nice move there from Smith. Back the other way. Boutte on the wing. Boutte. Cross court for Barksdale. Barksdale. Out to Archie. Archie for three. Good! In position. But again, here you've got a stop. And what you have to do is you, you, need to, you need to run some action, get yourself going to the rim. See the double? There it is right there. See? And now you get O'Leary spark. He'll defend you. Which is the reason he's on the floor. Norris couldn't cash in on an easy opportunity, and now IUPUI's got numbers. Extra pass. Another extra pass, and we're tied. Going to the tournament. It is weird saying, are they going to the tournament yeah, that's or not? A, that's amazing. That doesn't make any sense. That's not over you nine, but you always have to, you know, the head on the swivel, as you like to talk about. Nobody there to, to provide the quick help, and that's an easy one for Obi. Megan O, fifth year senior. One of four players in the ORU roster from Edmond, Oklahoma. That's a northern suburb of Oklahoma City. Hall got stuck in a bad spot. Archie and O'Leary bail him out. And an easy, easy hoop to start the half. Telling Houston now with seven. He averages some nine and a half a game. 
with a little flex action uh, on the baseline. You know, you get your little back screen and you duck in and post up your post player. Good ball movement by the Jaguars. Nice looking leave and haul to finish. Well, you start half with over 11 minutes to play, but yeah, it just seems like a guy you want in there as long as you can keep him exactly. in there. Well, he's a great defender, great shot blocker. Oh, Roberts zone, a little extra step in it. Archie the dump to Brennan. Nice setup by Mason Archie. Just think of it. Just a great, great decision on the part of T.J. Henderson. Eight have played, seven have scored. Again, Brennan's active, gives you a great hedge off deep, the ball screen. Deep three by Telling Houston. Don able to keep the possession alive. Archie to steal. Outside to Cohen. Here comes Carter. And he was short on the floater, got his own rebound, trying to get it back in the play. Well, I'll tell you what, Marquette, we didn't see a lot of zone against Belmont. But that zone defense may be the MVP of tonight if they hold on and win this game. Enforcing tough shots all night. Ellenson working on Brennan. Good help defense. And I think Coach Gardner recognizes we need to change it up and look what it does for you. Immediately get string together some stops now. Good hands by Archie. Brennan gets the take. Dave Ron's a shot blocker, defender. Ooh. Archie got a piece who touched right it there. last yep. wall. Pepperdine and North Carolina Central. Archie got his hands on it. Gets the Trapped the first pass by Ball State. You rotate up. The great finish. See if they can continue it. You gotta be careful. It's, again, it's inner.